The sand engulfed everything. We failed, yet again. How many times has it been? And how many more will the world disappear into sand? I tire of all this, my sister. As do I. But we cannot give up. We must succeed. If we don't... <sighs> yes, you're right. We have to do this. Can we really save the world? I don't know, but we must have faith for now. Come, let's start again. Yes, let's. That's why we possess this power after all. This, this time, time, the, the true, true history, history will, will be, be written. written. Good to see you're as prompt as always. Spare me the small talk. What do you need, Heiss? Hmm. <laughs> Blunt as always, too. Well, that's fine. It doesn't matter how rude you are, so long as you get results. Speaking of which, I have a mission for you, Stock. As you know, it's been some time since we went to war with Granor. I hear the situation worsens by the day. You hear right. Granorg, in particular near the Imperial Ruins, has faced the worst of the desertification. They're desperate to claim any land that will yield a harvest. It's a problem, to be sure. As such, I've been sending agent after agent into Granorg to gather info. But every time, they've been faced with complications. The most recent expedition was no different, which brings us to your mission. An agent with vital intel on Granergite armaments has been stranded in enemy territory. I'll need you to rescue this agent and escort him safely back to Alistair.
rescue mission. Wouldn't that usually be an army job? Unless, of course, the army isn't aware of it. You catch on quickly. Now, the rendezvous point is west of Lasville Hills. Another operative will ensure the agent arrives there safely, even if he has to lay down his own life to do so. As I'm sure you can guess, I need you to handle this before military personnel catch wind. They've been eager to do away with our special intelligence unit for some time now. Indeed, they seem to relish any opportunity to drag us through the muck. So, this must be done secretly and quickly. Correct. You're the only man who can get it done under the circumstances, Stock. The only one I trust. I'll get it done, all right. You needn't worry about that. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I'll also be assigning you two subordinates for this job. Subordinates? I'd rather you didn't. If I'm the sole survivor again... If you don't want that to happen, you'd best learn to make use of their talents. Otherwise, you may be better off thinking of them as mere tools to aid in your survival. They're waiting for you outside, by the way. Tools, huh? That aside, what are these talents you speak of? You're the agent, aren't you? Find out yourself. Uh, moreover... There's more? I'm entrusting you with this. old book? It's called The White Chronicle. The White Chronicle? Strange name. Hmm? It's blank. Don't worry about that. It may nevertheless prove useful on your mission. How so? Oh, never mind. Just think of it as a lucky charm for now. It may not help, but it can't hurt, can it? I suppose not. I'm off then. Radiant Historia. I'll be waiting, Stock. Waiting for the day you finally catch up to me. That must be them. Are you the two Heist said would be working under me? You bet we are. I'm Rainy. Nice to meet you. Come on, you're next! My name is Marco. It's a pleasure meeting you. Understood. So, can you two fight? What are your specialties? 
course we can fight. I'm good with spears, and I can use a few spells, too. And I use swords, but I much prefer healing. You might also say I'm good with intel. Sounds good. I'm stuck. Heiss already told us. From what we hear, you're his golden boy in special intelligence. <laughs> you're just as aloof as he said you'd be. I like that. A man should be reserved, not some chatterbox who can't keep his mouth shut. Glad you approve. I'm relieved as well. But, um, leaving that aside, uh... Stock, sir? Just stocks, fine. Well then, um, stock, why don't you explain our mission? It's an extraction. We'll rendezvous with the target west of Lasville Hills. Oh, is that it? Sounds like a piece of cake. Oh, come on, Rainy. You always jump to conclusions after just the slightest bit of info. So what? Has that ever led me astray? It may this time. After all, from what I've gathered, the Grand Org army has already reached Lasville Hills. Wait, really? But that's just south of here. It's probably only a matter of time till they attack Alistel. The agent we're tasked with extracting is a spy who's been investigating Granorg. According to Heiss, this man has some vital information on the armaments they've prepared. Granorg's armaments, huh? If we knew what they were gonna throw at us, we'd be able to turn this war around no problem. We can't fail. That's right. Do you suppose we'll be engaging Granorg soldiers then? That's why Heiss is sending me. Uh, I, I see. He must really have a lot of faith in you, huh? Giving you such an important mission and all. Well, I don't know about that. In any case. We need to devote all our effort to the mission. <laughs> What's going on? The White Chronicle. It's glowing. What? Is this? <sighs> Is that Marco and Rainy? They're dead. What's going on? What is this? Everything okay, Stock? You're awfully quiet all of a sudden. Are you, uh, upset that Rainy spoke out of turn? No, it's nothing. Don't worry about it. Come, that's enough talk. Let's be on our way. Oh, wait a sec. Heist left us some money for the mission. You should hang on to it, Stock. You're our leader, after all. Yep. Come on, let's hit up some shops around town for gear. We've got to be ready for whatever might happen.
You're right. We need to be fully prepared before we depart. Let's go. Yes. Can I help you? Excuse me. Excuse me.
This mission's gonna turn the tides of this war in our favor, right? Most likely. Well, all right then. Let's do this. Come on, Mark. Let's go. Uh, okay. I'll do my best. Stock. Rosh, you're as cold as ever. I don't mind you giving me that treatment, but you really should try to warm up to everyone else. By the way, you heading out? Yeah. Let me guess, an SI job? Out with it, Rosh. What do you want to say? I have a bad feeling about this mission, Stock. It's going to be dangerous. That's nothing new. All of my missions are dangerous. It's more than that. I just... Please, trust me. Hmm? I can't tell you how many of my compatriots I've seen draw their last breath over the years. But every time it happened, I got the strangest feeling. It almost felt like I knew they were destined to perish. The stench of death weighed heavy on them. And now it weighs heavy on me. That's right. What I'm sensing from you is nothing good. Even if you manage to survive, you'll end up with something like this arm of mine. Your gauntlet. Hey, I got out lucky. Might be a limb short, but at least I'm still alive. Not everyone ends up so fortunate, though. You'd do well to remember that. Stock? Yeah? W what is it? What is it? Listen to you. You were scared white. I really got to you, didn't I? If so, I'm sorry. No, it wasn't that. Listen, just don't worry about it. <sighs> All right, then. Not like I have much choice knowing you. No matter how much I argue, you'll still go off on this mission of yours. Alistair's very survival rests on my shoulders. I can't fail. I won't. I hear you. That's the way things are, I guess. The mission is everything. That's one thing us military folk actually agree on with the SI. By the way, I'm sorry if what I said spooked you. I just had to warn you. I appreciate the concern. Honestly. But I'll be alright. Allow me to prove just how wrong your intuition can be. I hope you do. This time, I wouldn't mind being wrong. Well, I should be getting back. Lieutenant General Raoul summoned me. Stock, don't die out there, okay? I won't. Excuse me, Stock. Shall we be heading out? Hold up. You know that guy? Yeah. He's my best friend. Wow. That arm of his is really something, by the way. Fake, yeah? It's Thaumatech. It might be artificial, but he can move it just as well as a real arm. Anyway, I'm sure you'll be seeing more of him later. Come on, let's go.
Welcome. <laughs> Damn. What do you think? Hey. Huh? <sighs> Looks like it's gonna rain. Is today the day I find him? We'll make contact with the target west of here. Looks like the Grand Arg army hasn't made it out here yet. Think they're close? Most likely. We should hurry onward while we still can. In that case... I've got a shortcut! You mean the path down by the riverbank, right? You betcha. I used to walk along there all the time. I suppose the Grand Orc forces would be less likely to spot us if we strayed off the main path. Hmm? Mark and I can lead the way, Stock. Just sit back and let us show you what we're made of. Fine by me. I'll follow your lead. Gotcha. Come on, let's get moving. Stock! Over here! Hey, look out! Gah!
It's finally over. So, you two really can fight. Of course we can. We did used to be mercenaries, after all. We might not be up to your level, but we're no slouches either. I see that. So, don't be afraid to trust us with a little more responsibility. After all, we're putting our lives in each other's hands on this mission. I only hope we can someday gain the level of trust necessary to shoulder that burden. As do I. It seems the wind's picking up. It does look like it's gonna rain now that you mention it. Come on, let's hurry to the rendezvous point. It started to rain. Hi, Colonel. Indeed. Still, while this deluge will allow us to go undetected, it benefits our foes just as well. We would do well not to let our own fortune blind us to that. Understood. Not concerned, per se. But these conditions do seem to favor those Alastellian rats. Rest assured. <laughs> Very well. I shall place my trust in you for the time being. Leave it to me! I shall. Still, I care not for vermin. The rendezvous point should be right around here. Doesn't look like our guy's here yet. Do you think he got caught? We shouldn't be so quick to jump to conclusions. Right. We should wait here a bit for the agent to arrive. But the Granark army will be on Alistair's doorstep before we know it. We need to hurry. If we don't make it, that'll be another home scratched off the list. Rainy. Home. Do you mean Alistel? Mm. We mentioned earlier how we used to be mercenaries, yes? Mark, don't. There's no reason to hide it. Stock should know. As I was saying, we once belonged to a large band of mercenaries but one day we came up against an unstoppable force, one that decimated our entire troop. Rainy and I are the only ones who escaped that slaughter. It was at that point that Heist decided to take us in. Heist. Yeah, words can't even describe how kind he was to us. This is what he said. You survived, which marks you as necessary to this future. Come with me and let us write history together. History as it should be. And that's why Mark and I are here now. Write history, huh? Wait, what's that? Someone's coming. I think it's our spy. Freaking finally! Wait, something's wrong. He's being pursued! 
and by Grand Orc soldiers, no less. We have to save him. <laughs> Enough! Are you all right? Uh. Relax, we're on your side. There they are! Get behind us. Marco, Rainey, protect him at any cost. <clears throat> Enough! Ah! That was a close one. <sighs> that should be the last of them. You're hurt. It looks bad. I have some medicine stock. I brought it just in case things turned out like this. This is the only bottle I have, though. <sighs> just doing our jobs. Now then, are you alone? What's become of your escort? Yes. You mean about the enemy armaments, yes? Yes. Got it. We'll escort you the rest of the way to Alistair. Well, it looks like the first stage of our mission's complete. 
It won't get any easier from here forward, though. Our route back to Alistair will land us in direct conflict with the bulk of the Granorg army. Don't forget about the guys on our heels, either. This isn't good. <sighs> you won't get away! We need to move. You two go on ahead. I'll bring up the rear. Don't let them get the drop on you. We'll be all right. Let's go, Rainy. See? We're already putting our lives in each other's hands. Not so hard, huh, Doc? Apparently not. Now, move out. Hmm. Road splits here. Which way do we want to go? I'm thinking we can get home quickest if we head north and cross the bridge up there. No. In that case, I suggest the shortcut down by the riverbank that we took coming here. Yeah, that'd be... Look out! No! I, I can't believe they ambushed us here! What do we do, Stock? The spies hurt bad! We can figure that out later. Be on guard for the next attack. I'll handle this. <sighs> they got away. Their only objective must have been to kill the spy. What the? A blockade? The Granorg army must have put this up. Something's wrong about this. They're too well prepared. No matter. I should head back to the others for now. Are you two all right? What about the spy? He's dead, Stock. We failed. Damn it. If only we'd been a little more careful. Snap out of it, Rainy. Beating yourself up over this will only get you killed. Remember, we have an obligation to report this turn of events. Don't you want to protect your home? Uh. Stock's right. We need to tell the higher-ups what happened here. Yeah, let's go.
The route south is blockaded. Our only choice is to head north. But Granorg's forces are concentrated up there. There's no other way. Guess we're just gonna have to try and break through their ranks. That's right. Brace yourselves. There they are! You're kidding me! They found us already? Aren't they all supposed to be up north? No. This is a different unit. They must be one of the teams sent out to hunt the spy. Right. So that's why they're coming from behind us. What should we do, Stock? Shall we run away? No, we'd only be flanked by the squadron waiting to the north. We need to deal with them here. Right. I'm sure it won't be too bad so long as we've got stock backing us up. Either way, we have to try. Yeah. Get ready. Yeah, we did it somehow. <laughs> <laughs> 